chronic diseases of the American bully. If you are considering getting an American bully as a pet, you may be wondering about their health issues. These dogs have a wide neck and a deep chest. Their front stance is also very wide. Some have a straight tail, while others have a crank tail. While the tail may not be ingrown in some individuals, it should be relatively straight. Canine atopic dermatitis. Atopy, or canine atopic dermatitis, is an allergic skin disease that is similar to hay fever in humans. Other related diseases include asthma and eczema. The condition is typically mild and does not develop until a dog reaches about one to three years of age. However, symptoms can become more pronounced as a dog ages, so it is important to seek veterinarian's advice early on. The skin folds are one of the most common sites for canine atopic dermatitis. These folds are often warm and moist, making them prime locations for bacteria and fungus. A dog with this disease may develop an infection at one or more sites, including the face, and nose. The best treatment for canine atopic dermatitis is to get your dog to a veterinarian who can prescribe an antifungal solution. American bullies are susceptible to canine atopic dermatitis, a common condition among dogs. This allergic reaction typically manifests itself between six months and three years of age, but can also occur later in life due to excessive exposure to an allergen. Certain breeds of dogs are more prone to developing CAD than others. The American Bulldog, in particular, has a high risk of developing the condition. Symptoms include bumps and rashes in the head and armpits. Atopic dermatitis in dogs can be very frustrating for pet owners. The itchy skin caused by this condition is a sign of a problem with the dog's immune system. The immune system is responding overly to allergens in the environment leading to the breakdown of skin tissue and apnea. American bullies are susceptible to many common food allergies, which can lead to red, itchy, and inflamed skin. If left untreated, the condition can lead to anaphylactic shock, which can be fatal. To treat this condition, owners should clean their homes regularly with hypoallergenic bedding and use hypoallergenic shampoo. They should also give their coats a cool bath to avoid exposing it to allergens and causing itching. Hypoallergenic food is also recommended. After a diagnosis of atopy, treatment options vary. Treatment may include topical treatments or immunomodulatory medications, which can reduce the incidence and severity of subsequent infections. However, while the symptoms of atopy can be controlled, they are often not cured. The goal of treatment is to control the symptoms and provide a better quality of life for your pet. Canine congenital heart failure. Certain breeds of dogs can develop congenital heart failure. The signs of a congenital heart defect will vary depending on the severity of the disease. These symptoms include shortness of breath, weakness, and fatigue. They may also lead to seizures and collapse. An electrocardiogram or X-ray may be performed to determine the cause, the severity, and specific type of congenital heart disease will determine the treatment required. A mildly affected dog may not exhibit any symptoms, whereas a severely affected pup will most likely die. In addition to medical treatment, surgical correction of this heart defect is often necessary for most animals. This surgery, however, is only recommended if there are no other heart disorders or other health problems. Canine congenital heart failure may be accompanied by symptoms of exercise intolerance, fatigue, or of failure to thrive. Some dogs with this condition may also exhibit signs of right-sided congestive heart failure, including a loud murmur and a pulsating jugular vein. If any of these signs are present, a veterinarian may recommend a test to confirm the diagnosis. A Doppler echocardiogram is also useful in determining the severity of the stenosis. Left-sided congestive heart failure is the most common type of canine congenital heart failure. In this condition, blood leaks back into the left atrium through the mitral valve. Instead of being pumped into systemic circulation, the resulting volume overload causes fluid to build up in the body. When this happens, it causes coughing and difficulty breathing. Other symptoms include a weakened right ventricle and abnormal valve. 
and increased pulmonary venous pressure. In severe cases, this heart failure can result in right-sided congestive failure. In addition, a dog with a severe case of stenosis may experience other birth defects. The treatment for canine congenital heart failure involves using medications to reduce fluid buildup and improve heart function. A low sodium diet can also help minimize fluid accumulation. However, the disease is progressive and usually requires ongoing medication.